doing some last minute shopping. I need a couple more of the sugar and cream Americana cotton. They got a good clearance sale going on right now. So just seeing what they have. But yeah, I need a couple more. So I'm just here to pick that up so we can get this tank top all ready to go. I just need to be careful because some of them, see how the red bleeds through to the white? You need to make sure it's a clear, clear white. So I scored a latte cake for three bucks. Not bad. And then I got my Americana cotton so we can do our tank top and then our avant-garde wrap over, shawl, shirt shawl. <laughs> You'll see what I mean when I work it up. Hopefully you guys enjoy these projects for you to do on the 4th of July. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. I have an exciting new video to show you guys to get into the Americana 4th of July season. In this first video, I'm gonna show you how to do a quick cotton tank top for men and for women. What you will need is your favorite cotton yarn. I am going to be using sugar and cream, red, white, and blue, and red. I wanted to interrupt this video to quickly clarify. This is the actual ingredient list of what you will need to create the tank top. For me, I'm a size small, I'm 5'3 on a good day. I only used two balls of red, white, and blue for one panel. So that's four in total for the back and the front. I used one ball of navy blue and one ball of re-up in white. So you actually only need about, so four plus one plus one. You need six balls to complete this project. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this tutorial. In the next part, I'm gonna show you how to create a nice cozy sweater using Red Heart yarn, and then an avant-garde type of creative medley sweater using different fibers from Karen, Red Heart, and Lion Brand. So let's get started and create this unisex tank top for this year's 4th of July. To get started, grab your white, white, and blue. We're gonna work from the bottom up, and you're gonna start off with 55 stitches using the recommended eye hook. The pattern that we're gonna go for is two half double crochet rows, one double crochet, two half double, one double. That way you have enough closure in between the stitches, so that, but also so that way it's nice and loose and it drapes nicely along your body. I'll be measuring the tank top that I'm actually wearing right now. It is a perfect reference for the drape and the size of the shirt that I want the tank top to come off in. So after I measured it, it turns out that my torso is about gonna be 18 and a half inches and it's pretty uniform all the way up, so we're gonna stick with that. So let's make 55 rows, which is 18 and a half inches. And like a ding dong, I made it way too big. So I so the issue, just so you know, when you're using cotton yarn, you have to keep a loose tension when you create that first base stitch uh, row because you can't stretch it. There's no stretch at all with this lily and cream, sugar and cream yarn. So I have to take away 12 stitches. But look at how it's coming out. Just wanted to show you how it's coming out. It's gonna be a very good pattern. Uh, it's playing out really well with the two half double crochets and the one double crochet. So I'm gonna undo it, I'm 12 stitches too big. All right, so let's get this little update. Here it is, this is after one ball of sugar and cream, red, white, and blue. I love it, look at that, beautiful. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 rows going up. I think you need about mm, less than double of this and then we're gonna start on the straps. Ball number two. Without cutting the first side, so wherever side you end up on, that is the first strap that you're gonna work on so that way you avoid cutting on that side and then you move on to the other side. All right, so now we're ready to do the straps. Now, here's a little secret and a couple tips when you're doing the straps. When you're doing a tank, if you see the tank that I'm wearing, it has a scoop here and it scoops a little bit. So the strap starts here, but the shirt is actually here. So see how there's a difference in the from the strap to the shirt? So in order to compensate for that, since I am adding a border at the end, I'm not gonna, I have to keep that in mind. So that's gonna be about half an inch leeway. So what I'm gonna do is I crocheted on the last stitch. That way I'm not cutting on this side. I went to halfway through my body. So whatever halfway of your body is, for me it's 44 stitches. So half of that is 22. So I went to the 21st stitch here. And I'm actually going to decrease on both the inside and the outside. Now that's going to give you a nice scoop going here. On this side though, on the outer half, you're only going to go in about, I would say decrease six times, six or seven times until you get to the strap and you can use this as a reference. 
So see, it's usually only about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's only about seven stitches that you gotta decrease. But here, you gotta decrease from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So about nine stitches to get to this, the strap. All right, so you're gonna decrease on both. Now this is one way of you can decrease. Either you, I began decreasing using the back loops method, but I learned that you can also just do the full stitch decrease. So what I mean by that is you actually go in the first stitch completely, then you go into the second stitch completely. Give yourself enough leeway, because remember, cotton does not stretch. Pull it through both, and you decrease, and it's flat right there, as opposed to having that indentation or stretch from the back loop only. And then you just keep going. Now when you get to the final two stitches on the outside, save those last two stitches and the same thing. Put it completely through the first stitch, put it completely through the last stitch. It does split a little bit, so make sure you get all those strands. Yarn over, pull through. Okay, make sure you're pulling through all of them. You should have three yarns on there and then pull through and finish it for the half double crochet. And you just decreased one. Keep going until you feel comfortable with the strap. It all depends on the body shape as well, so I'm not gonna give you too many measurements, but that's the technique that you gotta do. You gotta decrease on both. You're decreasing more from the center out, and you're decreasing less from the outside in. All right, so I decreased until I had a strap of about three, three stitches, because remember, I'm gonna be adding a red border, so the red border is gonna go on the outside and on the inside, so that's two extra stitches that you're gonna be adding into it, so it will get thicker. You see what the plan was? It decreased both on the inside and on the outside. So this is actually pretty good. I like it. I'm pretty happy with it. See? Gives you enough leeway for the armhole. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. And then I'm going to add the red border. And we'll see how that turns out. All right. So here's the final. Here's one of the updates. Look at that. So once you decrease from both sides, this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna add a red border all the way around and that should make it a little bit more round here in the middle and give it a little bit more depth. But you could actually stop here if you really wanted to, if this is your aesthetic. So you can see that's what it's gonna look like. But I'm gonna add the red border to give it a little bit of a cohesive, clean, finished look. Last minute executive decision, I'm gonna make a white border. I'm gonna do it white, 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 white. So using the re-up in white, because it's a little bit softer and it has a little bit of a stretch to it. I'm gonna use this to outline the entire piece now. I like to start on the bottom so that way I can hide the seam of where you start it. So I'm actually very excited with how this is turning out. Guys, look at this, check this out. That looks so good, you guys. Look at that. Ooh. How the straps came in. I added the white border along. So let's go ahead and do the second panel. I'll see you back so I can stitch it together. So I just realized, you guys, that the two balls that I'm making on one panel is more saturated than the other one. So as you can see, this one has a lot more white negative space, and this one has more more red negative space. <laughs> so I guess one side is going to be red, and the other side is going to be white. Alright, so it's 1 o'clock in the morning, I'm finishing up, so this is the back panel, this is the front with the white outline, this is the back, so it's essentially made exactly the same way, for 55, 45 across, I haven't done the edging yet, I'm still debating if I want to do that, but just so you guys know, the back part is going to be different in the sense that you're doing one whole piece, 
and you're decreasing on both ends. So see how it's coming up towards, it's following the same outline as the front one. And just like a normal tank top, the back is actually not too strapped. It's actually the whole piece. So as soon as it reaches up here, I'm gonna close it and then attach it and then we're done. All right, you guys, so here's the finished product. I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. Look at that. Very good paneling. You got the border around. White going all the way on the sides too. So you just connect them, giving it a seamless look when you connect them together, which is always a goal of mine. Then I added, originally I just had one row going, but as you can see, it turned into a V-neck and I kind of didn't want that. I wanted to have a circular shape, which was my mistake. So just so you know, whenever you're doing this type of increasing for the straps, just make sure you decrease the, the stitches here in the middle to make it more rounder. And then I just added a few more and I finished it with a border. So that way it gave it a very more Americana finish look, kind of like a, um, how do you call it? There's some tank tops that have like a colored collar and I was debating if I was gonna do it on the arms too. I might add that later. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys the update. So this is the front. And then if you flip it over, I gave it a color blocking back just to give it a little bit more of a fashion sense. So I added blue. So I did the same dimensions before I started to decrease up here of the Amer red, white, and blue. Then I just added pure blue here. And then I added the border going all the way across. I added a couple rows of white. That's why it looks whiter, whiter here. But remember, this is the length of the backs or your shoulders because nobody's this flat. So technically when it's on, it's gonna be like that. So that's what this is, it compensates that. But yeah, guys, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. What do you guys think? I'm gonna try it on, show you the final reveal. So if you're very curious, here we go. I This is the first size small. I'm 5'3". My chest is 18 and a half inches, which is how I made the length of it. So this length, the original length, is 18 and a half. With the border, it's probably 18 and three quarters, which is 45 stitches of half double crochet. And the pattern here is two rows of half double crochet, one row double crochet, and you just repeat that. And for me, because so, it's easier to see the doubles, it's 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then you finish on the double crochet, and then that's where you start to decrease. So if you were curious about that, it's 10 sets of that pattern, two half double, one double. And then you decrease on both sides. I went halfway here, so that was about 21 inches. And I started to decrease on both sides until I got to the straps. Here it's about three stitches wide. And then I just kept going up until I was comfortable with my length. That all depends on how tall you want this garment to be. Same thing here, went out 21 inches and started to decrease on both sides. And then I only did a one, two, actually. I did two rows, two rows of a uh, border along the whole thing. And then I just joined it here at the top. You can't even see. On the back, same thing. 45 inches going across, 10 sets of two half double, one double. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it finishes with the half double. So this is a half double, it just looks stretched because of this. And then I added this row. So what I did here, I decreased every other row. So the same thing on the other side, I decreased so that way it matched where the arm was. So that's about five times on this side. So I decreased, and this is all half double crochet. Decreased, normal row, decreased, normal row, decreased, normal row until I matched the same side as this. And then I just kept going straight up and I did that. Then I kept the neck hold the same. I didn't change anything. I just added the border, decreasing here in the middle. So that way it has a more rounded look and it's not so much of a deep v-neck. But if you like the v-neck, you can actually just keep it that way. Don't decrease here. That's just a stylistic choice depending on who you're making this for. For men, it tends to be better when it's round. For women, you can definitely do the v-neck. 